In today's video, I want to take some inspiration from C.S. Lewis's book, Paralandra, and how it talks about a way in which most of us don't allow ourselves to fully live our lives and give us some more inspiration into allowing the true life within us to come from within and live life fully. So Paralandra is a book that is part of C.S. Lewis's Cosmic Trilogy. It's the second book and it follows a human called Ransom who goes on a journey to another planet called Paralandra. And this planet is perfect, it is beautiful. Um, it is an ideal place. Uh, Lewis compares it to the Garden of Eden in many ways. And he has um, two people similar to Adam and Eve on that planet. So the Eve-like um, creature is called the Green Lady. That's how Ransom refers to her. He observes her life and he sees how she flows with the world and she flows effortlessly in the life that she has in this ideal, perfect place. And the Green Lady also observes Ransom. She observes how he lives and how he interacts with his surroundings and with all that he comes into contact with. And it's this observation that I believe has great meaning for us and can support us in understanding how we can live better ourselves in our lives. She says the following to Ransom. I see that you come from a wise world. If this is wise, I have never done it before. Stepping out of life into the alongside and looking at oneself living as if one were not alive. Do they all do that in your world? So the green lady sees Ransom as walking alongside himself. She observes us as a species, the human race, um, as having this predicament where we see ourselves living and we walk alongside observing our own lives. And she doesn't really see a lot of good in it. She's curious of it and questions in herself the validity of it. It's not something she has ever done before. So what can we take from this idea of us walking alongside, being in the alongside. There are two aspects that I'd like to draw out. Firstly, the lack of being present. In walking alongside, we step out of our lives. As she says, we step out of life and into this alongside. So in our day to day, instead of living our life, we are walking alongside observing it. And then the second aspect that I would like to point out is that now that we are walking alongside ourselves, the opportunity to judge and to criticize ourselves in our lives um, comes forward. If you're not walking alongside and you're just living in the flow of life, you don't take that opportunity to judge. You simply live your life. So I very much believe that we have the opportunity uh, to do either of these things. We can walk alongside ourselves or we can stay within our lives and live it. Um, and I want to encourage us to seek to do the latter. I know that as a kid, I lived in the flow. I would run around and play and, and do lots of fun, exciting things as a young boy. But there was a point in my life when I stepped out of that and I looked at my own life. I judged events of my life, painful events, 
and and I broke away and I stepped into the alongside into that place of self judgment and uncertainty, and I stopped living my life. The path and journey of life now is to get back into that flow, and that's what this channel is about for me. Um, and I certainly want to encourage it for anyone who chooses to watch as well. So I leave you with the idea of the green lady and the flow of her life. The book, The Paralandra, uh, ends with this incredible dance of life where Ransom, the green lady, the inhabitants of the world all like dance together in this wonderful idyllic flow and that is what we all should aspire to in our lives and seek to find within ourselves um, please watch for more videos that talk about how we can do this that talk about how we can step back into our lives and find the freedom and flow that brings joy and excitement to our day today Thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you again soon.